In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the WAX network to create your own private key so you can have a wallet that is not on the cloud and also how you can use that wallet to create a custom named address. The first thing you're going to want to do is visit wax.blocks.io and from here, you're going to want to click on the wallet tab. On here, you're going to want to click on create account. And at the top, it says, if you need to generate your new uh, private public key pair, please click on this link. This will open up eoskey.io. You can download this. And once done, it'll open up this screen. Click generate and validate keys, and it will give you a public and a private key. You can then validate this key by typing the information back in and validating to check that it works. Once you have that, just move it to one side. You're going to close down this window and you're going to come back here to give your account a name. Now I'm going to call this Noobs on Mars and we'll call it Noobs on Mars Free. Now we need our public owner key and that is the public key that we have here. The public key we will put in both the public owner and the public active. We also need some net to stake, and that can be 0.2. We need some CPU, and I recommend 10 wax uh, in CPU. And in terms of RAM, I would recommend 10,000 bytes. You can check to transfer the staked resources to the new account, or you can go ahead and create a new account. It will ask you to connect to an existing wallet where you'll need to transfer your wax. If you do have a cloud based, um, Wax wallet, which is the easiest one to create. I recommend doing that and then transferring the funds across from there. If I go ahead now and click Cloud Wallet, it will ask me to connect my wallet. I'm just going to do that now. It is just checking for me to log in and I need to quickly authenticate my uh, 2FA on my wallet. So we're going to just very quickly do that. And once that is done, we would then be able to log in. Right, that's now done, and here we go. So you can see what we have liquid in our wallet, and then I can move that across by simply clicking this to say check to transfer, and as soon as I click create account, the new account will be created. Now I'm not going to do it for this, but I'm just showing you how that can be done. Once you've done this, you're then going to need to come across to Anchor. So Anchor Wallet from Greymass, you can go to greymass.com and then that will open up the ability for you to download. And once you do that, you'll have a desktop version here, which is going to ask you to import an existing account. Click on import and click import private key. Come back to your first screen, grab the private key. And once that is done, Quick import account. It's going to give you the information from the account you created. I can now import the owner or the active. I'm going to do that now. We're going to import the account and it's going to ask us to create a password. So we're just going to go ahead and create a password now. It can be anything you want. It's just for when you log in. And we're going to activate that. We're going to use this wallet. It's going to ask us again for our password that we just used. And that's it. We're now using this wallet. That's it. It's as simple as that. We can close all of this down, remembering you must have this public and private key. Now, I will never use this account. This is a test account only used just to show you what can be done. I will never use this account, which is why it is so important that you understand that your public and private key should never, ever be shared. If anybody was to get your private key, they could access all of your funds. It's very, very, very important that you never, ever, either knowingly or accidentally share this information. Keep it encrypted. Keep it locked away. Please, please protect yourself. Okay, so now we're going to close that down because we have that. And we're going to test this out to see if it works. So I'm going to go ahead to Atomic Hub and I'm going to click log in. I'm going to click Anchor, and I'm going to launch Anchor. 
This is then going to open a sign in request where I simply need to prove identity by clicking here. We'll sign a transaction and that's it. We are now logged in to Noobs on Mars 2. I can quite simply take any assets, any wax, anything that I have. If I want to send anything, I would just send it by the wax network to Noobs on Mars 2. That is all I need to do in this instance and it will send it across. So again, all you need to do is create your public private key, save your private key, come across to the blocks.io, create the account. Once the account has been created and you've loaded up with your RAM and your CPU, then you simply need to go across to Anchor, download it, put your private key in, and then anywhere where you want to connect your wallet, you will simply connect using Anchor. And that's it. That's how you can have a custom name with a private key on the WAX network.